In this video, we can figure an Azure file share with NTFS permissions on an Enter Domain Services domain. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. In my last video, we joined a storage account to an on-premises Windows AD domain and configured NTFS permissions. This video is similar, we start with an Azure file share and configure NTFS permissions, only this time we're using Enter Domain Services instead of Windows AD. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Enter ID and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Windows 365 with Intune Management. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it. Enter DS is a Windows AD compatible service hosted in Azure. Although it's similar to Windows AD, the process of joining a storage account for NTFS style permissions is significantly different and easier. I'd like to point out I don't recommend using Enter Domain Services as a replacement for Windows AD. I have other content on that, so I'll spare you in this video. There are use cases for Enter Domain Services. If that use case also requires Azure file shares, this video will help you understand how to configure it. Okay, let's move on. Adding a storage account to a Windows AD environment requires a PowerShell script. Enter Domain Services makes it much easier. We simply check a box in the storage account settings. That's because objects in Enter ID, like a storage account, replicate to Enter Domain Services. But there are a few things to consider. For example, an SMB share on an Azure storage account requires share level permissions that allow users to access data over the network. In an Azure storage account, share level permissions are set with RBAC roles. We have three share level permissions available. The first is storage file data SMB share reader. This role can read data in the share. Then SMB share contributor. This role can read and write data on the share. And finally, SMB share elevated contributor. This role can read, write, and modify permissions on the share. There are also two additional roles that override Windows permissions. Storage file data privilege contributor. This role allows reads, writes, deletes, and modifies Windows ACLs in an Azure file share over SMB, overriding existing Windows ACLs. And the storage file data privileged reader role. This role allows read access to Azure file shares over SMB, overriding existing Windows ACLs. We can only assign the share level permissions using RBAC roles in Azure. So those accounts must exist in Enter ID. Users created in Enter DS do not replicate back to Enter ID. That means user accounts must be sourced from Enter ID to use an Azure file share in Enter Domain Services. And we can only assign NTFS permissions on accounts that exist in Enter Domain Services. So be sure any account granted share level RBAC role permissions are also replicated to Enter Domain Services. Hybrid accounts replicated from Windows AD to Enter ID with Enter Connect Sync, then to Enter Domain Services will also work. An Azure storage account can use Windows AD, Enter Domain Services, or the hybrid Enter Kerberos identity source, but it can only use one of these three. If you have a storage account that uses Windows AD authentication, it can't also work with Enter Domain Services, for example. We'll get started with the demo in a minute. There are some prerequisites and items that have already been configured for the demo. There's an Enter Domain Services domain with a Windows server joined to that domain. This is where we'll do our testing. If you don't have that set up in your environment, check out a previous video on how to set up Enter Domain Services. There's also an Azure storage account with a file share in the same Enter ID tenant. I have a video on configuring that as well. It's almost like I planned that. Let's jump into the portal to get started with configuring our storage account. Here we are in the Azure portal in the storage account with the share we're testing. Let's go to data storage, then file share. We'll start by mounting the file share with a storage account key. This will verify connectivity to the share from the Enter Domain Services network. We can also see what happens when we try to use NTF permissions before joining the account to Enter DS. Let's go to connect. and we'll get the script. We'll use that script to connect to the share with the storage account key. Next, we'll go to the computer that's joined to Enter Domain Services and run the script. And again, we wanna verify we can connect with the storage account key and verify connectivity. We've got PowerShell ISC open, we'll paste that script in, and we'll highlight and run the script. It 
It looks like that worked. It shows we connected using the Z drive. Let's open up File Explorer next. Then we'll go to the drive we mounted. We should be able to add a folder. Using the storage account key, we do have rights to modify the contents of the share. Let's see what happens when we try to change permissions on the new folder. If we go to Properties, Security, and let's try to add a new user. We get a message that it can't determine if the storage account is joined to a domain. That's because it's not joined to a domain. We don't get NTFS style permissions yet because the account has not been joined to a domain. We'll fix that next, but before that, let's unmount the share. We'll close Explore. Go back to PowerShell. The storage account was mounted to the Z drive for this example. Let's use the net use command with the delete switch to unmount it. Now if we go net use again, no drives are mounted. Let's go back to the Azure portal to enable enter DS authentication so we can use NTFS style permissions. From the storage account in overview, we can see identity-based access is not configured. We can select that or go to the file share. There's also a link here for identity-based access. Click on not configured. There are three options. We want the option for Microsoft Entra Domain Services. Click Setup under Microsoft Entra Domain Services. We simply have to enable it to set up Entra DS authentication. We'll click Enable and Save. Azure will create the object in Entra DS that we'll use to assign NTFS permissions. We still need to configure share level permissions, however. Also, notice that the other two options are now disabled. We can only use one identity source on the storage account. The second step has two options. We can disable default share level permissions or grant all authenticated users and groups access. If we select the second option, we have to specify the role we want to assign all authenticated users. For this example, we'll maintain control over users and groups with share level access through RBAC roles. Let's leave Disable selected. And because we left it as default, we don't have anything to save. That sets identity-based access for a file share. That gives us the ability to set Windows NTFS style permissions on files and folders in the share. Next, let's set share level permissions on the file share. Let's go back to the file share. We'll open the share. From the file share, let's go to Access Control IAM. From here, we'll add a role assignment, search for SMB. We'll give our users the SMB share contributor role. We need them to read and write data, but not modify permissions. Go next to members. We'll select a member. This example, we'll use a group called Entra DS users. This group is replicated from Entra ID to Entra DS, as the name implies. Next to review and assign, and review and assign to assign the role. Let's add a second account for administration. This is optional. We could modify permissions by mounting the storage account with an account key. We'll add a role assignment. Search for SMB. We'll select SMB share elevated contributor. Next, we'll add our member. Next, add the storage admin account or group, the user or group who needs rights to modify permissions on that share. Storage admin for this example. Next, to review and assign, and review and assign. That is how to configure share level permissions for an Azure storage file share. Keep in mind that the accounts we add to share level permissions have to be replicated to Entra DS. If they don't exist in Entra Domain Services, we can assign them NTF permissions in that domain. Also, if an account was created in Entra Domain Services, it doesn't replicate back to Entra ID, and we have no way to assign those accounts share level permissions. 
Accounts created in EntraDS can't be assigned to share level permissions in Azure file shares, and therefore they won't be able to access the share over the network. Let's log into our EntraDS join server to set Windows permissions. Here we are on the domain join computer. Let's run the same script we used previously to mount the file share with the storage account key. And one note, if you have to go back and get that script again, make sure to select storage account key under authentication method. We're not using Active Directory or Microsoft Entra at this point yet. Okay, we'll run that script from PowerShell ISE for this example. You can also save it and just run it as a script. Okay, it looks like it gave me a warning that Z already exists. Let's go into File Explorer and see if it mounted correctly. Despite that message, it did mount the share. So let's right click on the share and go to Properties, Security, and Edit. We'll give the Entra DS user group modify access. And modify. We'll apply. It gives us a warning about setting permissions remotely on the root. That's okay, we can click yes. Okay, and okay. So that's good, we were able to modify permissions with Entra DS users. Next, let's go to the test folder we created earlier. We'll go to properties and security, go to advanced. And just for testing, let's disable inheritance. We'll convert and we'll add. Let's add our storage user. And we'll give that user full control. Apply, okay, and okay. So that shows we now have the ability to set NTFS style permissions on files and folders in an Azure file share that's joined to Entra Domain Services. Let's close File Explorer and go back to PowerShell. And once again, we'll remove the Z drive with the net use command. Let's log off so we can test accessing that file share with a normal user without the storage account key. Next, we'll try mounting the file share without the storage account key as a normal user. The user we'll test this example with is replicated from Entra ID to Entra DS. We're logged in as a user who's part of the group who has access to the share, storage user for this example. Let's connect to the share, and like we said previously, this time we'll mount it without the storage account key. Without the account key, access is managed by the share and NTF style permissions. We'll use net use to mount the drive. Shows the command completed successfully. That's good. We're mounting it as a Y drive this time. If we go to File Explorer, this PC, there's the drive. And we have our test folder and the user can add and modify items within that drive. That shows we're now using share and NTFS style permissions with Entra Domain Services to access the Azure file share. I hope this helps you better understand how to configure shares and NTFS permissions on an Azure file share with Entra Domain Services. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.